Tonight, a veteran is talking openly about what he went through after disappearing for days. Corey Hickson is a Marine veteran with a traumatic brain injury. He was found last month after breaking into a Weld County home. But the charges were dropped as part of a special rehabilitation program. Our Jennifer Bryce live in Denver right now to share Hickson's story. Jennifer? Well, Jimmy, you know, the Hickson family says in many ways, Corey's arrest has been a blessing because it has given them the opportunity to now access the right doctors and the right kind of care here at the Veterans Hospital. Felt like my body was charged, couldn't trust anybody. That is how Corey Hickson describes the medicinal psychosis he went through, causing the Marine veteran to jump from his balcony, go on the run for several days before being found after breaking into a Weld County home. I just had you know, scrapes and cuts and bruises all over my body. I was getting shocked by electric fences. Corey has been living with a traumatic brain injury for 13 years since a mortar attack in Fallujah. His wife says his medication was recently changed by a nurse practitioner at the VA, throwing him into that psychosis. She says Corey's care has been a constant struggle. Different doctors prescribing different things, being switched uh, doctors' prescriptions. It's hard to, for veterans to open up to the VA anymore because there's so much, they've been let down so many times. The Hicksons say recent attention, Corey's arrest, and now recovery has actually been a blessing because it got them to sit down with the director of the Veterans Hospital. Corey now has a new doctor. The Weld County DA will also dismiss the charges against Corey once he finishes a diversion program. Shayla says all of this has helped her family get back on track, thankful for the support and the help that they have received. He's doing better. We have um, people listening, so we're confident in that. And I do want to mention that the Weld County District Attorney's Office tells me that they are considering looking into starting a veterans court in their judicial district, which cat was catapulted by Corey's case. Essentially, that is a problem solving court specific to military veterans and dealing with some of their medical issues that are sometimes the underlining reason why they end up in the judicial system. Live in Denver, Jennifer Bryce, CBS 4 News. Jen, thank you.